Hi everyone. Hello everyone. This is Tom. Um, I met him through YouTube actually. Uh, he has a really cool channel. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out his stuff. It basically does weird and wonderful projects relating yeah. to flight mostly. Yeah, whatever uh, I can think of. <laughs> um, and I've had this idea for a while to grab a random, random person off the street and ask them if they could grand handle and just see how easy or hard it is for someone that doesn't have much of interest in it. The best thing we, I could get to a random person is Tom, which is not as strange to aerodynamic stuff. And I think you've tried RC paramotors before? Yeah, I've built a few radio control paramotors. Yeah. So I sort of understand the controls a bit. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never actually controlled it with my real hands on a full size. Yeah, thing. the way you launch it is kind of upside down and then it goes, yeah, right? Just over the top. So. And on this is more like pulling on the A's, which is like the leading edge yeah. lines. So it'll be interesting. Anyway, premise for today is pretty open. He hasn't seen any of this stuff before. Um, I'm going to take him through his first bits of uh, kiting and ground handling and see what happens. Sounds good. Cool. <laughs> Hopefully for all of you guys that don't fly paragliders, this is kind of what you could expect. So anyway, let's get on to it. <laughs> all right, Tom's ready. I've had a little uh, play with it and it seems to be a little bit gusty, but quite light. So it's not strong at all. Should be perfect conditions and lots of flowers around, which is nice. Oh yes, oh, yeah. he's doing the lazy method. <laughs> so what are your thoughts, Tom, after the first half hour? It's good fun. I, uh, I, I need to get the coordination because whenever it goes a bit lopsided, I panic and then just pull on whatever I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it harder or easier than what you thought? Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> It's, uh, it's quite odd when you feel it first pull you up for a little bit. It's got a bit of power, right? Yeah. yeah. Compared to just flying like a small kite. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Collapse recovery, very good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! I'll be honest, I've never seen someone pick it up so so easily. Tom's doing really well. He's even managing to move up wind with quite strong wind. And uh, unfortunately, the camera's gone flat, but he, uh, he actually managed to do a Cobra launch on his first try. Absolutely amazing. Right, Tom, I think you're ready for a challenge. Uh -oh. uh, put the wing up, turn forwards, walk 20 meters and put it down again. What do you think? Do I have to count 20 meters? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll count it out. <laughs> Alright. Right, so I would I would call that quite successful. What do you think? I loved it. It was great fun. <laughs> so your new favourite thing? Yeah, no, it's, it's really good fun. Good exercise as well. It's probably the most fun exercise I've ever done. <laughs> do you, what do you think about trying the big one? Well, a, a wing that is full size for you that you could actually fly <laughs> if you were if you had the right wind and terrain for it. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I need to try it. <laughs> I'm quite worried though because when a big gust comes, it's, it pulls quite hard. Yeah. Well, at least for what well, I'm used to. Well, on that one, it's kind of the same, but everything will be in slow motion. So it pulls you more, but you also have more time to think about what to do. Got you, okay. And yeah. uh, where we are and with the amount of wind we have, you can't go wrong with put, just pull on the brakes and that's it. And, and it will kill it. it. Yeah. And unless it's upside down, in which case, don't do anything. <laughs> Nice, catch it. Cool. So yeah, slow motion with this one.
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> First flight ever, flight ever. We both had a breath. How do you feel? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> no, I love it. It's, it's that gentle force pulling you off the ground, eh? It's really weird, yeah. And also, it's it's very different to the actual ground ground handling because you obviously you swing to the center of the wing. Yeah, yeah. So when you're on the ground and the wing starts going to the side, you just try and correct it. Whereas in the air, you sort of swing with it. Yeah, yeah. It does sort of does itself. Yeah, it's a stable. Yeah. St stable aircraft. Right, we got our breath back. Yep. <laughs> how did how did you find it? First time ground handling kind of paragliding. I loved it. It yeah. was a r really good experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, just trying to learn which you know line does what, and yeah, yeah, you know, it was good fun. What was the obviously you've had similar experience to this, but what was the most unexpected thing that were like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, it, it was weird when uh, when you first pushed me off the ground. Yeah, that actually it's, feeling it. it yeah, it's a you. really odd feeling. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I've never felt it before. But the um, no, the controls felt really natural. The, it, it felt a lot easier once it was in the air. Right. Because you said the ground handling's harder. Sometimes. Yeah, ground handling is definitely harder than flying. Mm. Um, yeah, if you magically got off the hill and you woke up when you were already flying, it's just like right goes right, left goes left, mm. both flares. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Well, hope you enjoy that. If you haven't checked Tom's channel and you're into crazy engineering inventions, check it out. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks to all of these uh, lovely people on Patreon for supporting the channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh, collapse recovery, very good. <laughs>